Hello everyone who follow VSO Sprints, here we are for a new de deployment of VSDS. Hello Vinny, how are you, my friend? Hello Ricardo. Ne first sprint in this year. <laughs> yeah. Sprint in 93 and 94. Let's yeah. go. We have two two sprints in one, so we have a lot lots of work to do. Uh, well, let's let's start with it. Uh, we're going to share with you a first um, feature from this sprint, which is uh, which enables you to create a branch uh, from a work item. So let's see how it works. But before uh, people always ask it about the this ability to to have a better uh, trackability of your work and your code. So. Let's see how Microsoft worked on this solution. Well, here we have uh, one work item, which is the name of the feature, by the way. Uh, but let's see how the solution works. If we open here uh, the work item form, you can see that this is the new work and the work item form. We can see here on the on the right of the form a new section called the development. Uh, you see this is an empty section uh, with only a link called create a new branch. Uh, it means that you now can create a branch directly from a work item. So let's see how, uh, how it works, how, it, uh, how is this uh, mechanism. Okay? So once I click on the link, I can give a few information to that. I can give a new name. What is this name? This is the name of the new branch I'm going to create in my repository, right? So, yeah. Do you want to um, say something? Yes. Basically, you have uh, one code and one one work item relationship one one. Yes. This is one a great work feature item for one co one code change, right? Yes. Okay. So. We give we gave it a name, and on which repository do you want to create uh, this new branch, right? So I'm gonna choose. This is my Git repo here, yeah. and which branch do I want to base my new branch, right? So uh, in this repository, I only have master, so I will base this new branch from master, right? Yes. And which work items do I want to relate to link to this branch? Uh, once I am on work item 295, I'm going to relate it to it. But I want to link to more than one work item. So if I want to link to 359 either, I just select it and it's already linked. Okay, so. Uh, for this example, we're going to link with uh, to only work only one work item. Okay, so let's create the branch, and once I create it, I am redirected directly to uh, the code tab on my VSTS. So I can see here I now have two branches: the master and my V branch. Right? Yes. Uh, please, uh, Ricardo. Uh, can you open other tab to represent my work item? Okay. Yes. To, yes. Okay. Of course. Thank you. So let's keep it open here, right? And you yes. can see something different on the development tab right here. Is this what you want to see? Yes. Uh, basically, you create a code history and work item history on your your work item yes I can see here I have uh, a strong link between the work item and the code and the branch so let's take a look at the history tab look at that I have a direct link to a branch okay so I have a link to a git repository here yes okay uh, Yes, and I can see uh, Ricardo. It. Yes, please. Um, on my on my branch, create a first commit, please. Okay, why not? So let's add something, 
right here. Let's do something like let's set a new file called Vinny wants it. Dot txt, right? Okay. And let's add some content to it. Let's wait for it to be. Okay. So okay. let's commit it. Perfect. Yes. Well, you can see here that there's uh, no association to the commit because of one reason we are going to, to explain to you right now. Uh, we did a commit to the this new branch, right? And it we need to do something to make it directly associated. What is it? Uh, is this is a pull request? So let's take a look to the history tab right here. So we have this commit added file in one set dot txt. We have the content. Okay. And we now have to pull it to to make a pull request of this commit. So let's create a pull request right here. Okay. And as we have this range related to the work item 295, it is already related right here. Okay. Yes, perfect. Perfect. So once we do it, we have a pending pull request, right, Vili? Yes, perfect. And now uh, approve my pull request, please. And after show my code change history. Well, uh, on first, work item. first I, I, I would like to, to show how a pull request appears on the work item form. So yes, perfect. We have we have these uh, new enter right here on the development tab. So we have a link to the my work item branch, and we now have a link to the pull request, I am waiting for it to be approved, right? So if I look here, I have the relationship. And we, if I look at the links tab, I have a link to a pull request of number five, OK? Yes. Um, so uh, as you wish, uh, let's complete this pull request. So let's approve it Okay. Yeah. and complete Perfect. it. Yes. Once it's done. Let's refresh our work item form again. Wow. So, so new what, link. Yes, we have a, you see that we we have some changes uh, on, on on the development tab. The first change is we do not have a link to the my work item branch anymore and we now have a link only to a pull request which is completed. What happened here? If we get back to the code tab, we will see that we do not have that branch we created anymore. So once we completed the work using that branch and approve, once we approve the pull request, it completes the work, it deletes automatically the branch, and it associates the changes to the work item. We use it. So it, it, it makes it better to track the work and to separate and to isolate uh, the, the changes. And you do not have to, to, to manage which branch is active and which branch we don't use anymore. So it makes it a little bit easier to, to manage work uh, with some code, right? Yes. Uh, Serradas, uh, please click on link tab. So, so I'm here. Yes, uh, and show commits and per request uh, branch don't. Uh, does not exist yes. anymore. Yes. 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 This is a commit and pull request, and and uh, the main uh, the main feature is I don't need anymore to hash on comment to mention my work item. This is very yes. very cool. Yes, this is very cool because uh, until this uh, new feature. That you to associate a work item to a pull request or something uh, from my repository, I have to mention it using the hash uh, on the comments. So once I have this this strong link using the development section of the main 
work item form, I do not have to do it anymore. It's all, all automatically. So we have the completed flag right here. We have the very strong visual interface to manage this work, right? Yes. And this is the main feature of Sprint 92 and 94. And see you on next Sprint. Bye bye. Yeah, see you. Thank you. And watch for all the other videos we have in the Sprint. See you. Bye bye.